to the vlog. So that's interesting because I thought I had my pink sunglasses on. Anyway, I'm going to get Bernard in, do a little schooling session with him. I might give Charlie a jump. I'm back from work an hour early to get stuff done, pack the lorry. I've seen photos of the course. I'm not until quarter past two tomorrow, but it's like kind of a three hour journey. So I'll probably leave like nine. I think, but yeah, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm trying not to be nervous. I'm trying to, like my dream is eventing. Well, I'm in a position where I can now pay to go eventing. Whereas obviously growing up, my mum was like, I'm not paying 120 pounds for you to go to an event. Whereas I have absolutely no self-control when it comes to money. So here I am. <laughs> we go for a ride in a t-shirt because it's actually warm. Ignore the mess of the straw behind it. I hope dad empties that. I'm just gonna set up like a 20 by 40 every night in my school and right through the test and just sharpen up in a few movements. Just do like 20 minutes, eh? Because it is really warm. I was thinking of reclipping him, but I don't think I will. I don't think I need to. Didn't get anybody's riding Bernard, but making him a little feed. Can I go? gorgeous boy waiting for his food. Don't think I'm gonna ride Charlie because I need to jump him but I'm a bit nervous like that something happens and it destroys my confidence. So you need to clip Bernard. Just adding things to my list constantly. So I think I'm gonna put him out, clean my tack, pack the lorry, get him in for his tea, give him his tea, clip him, wash him and then maybe have my tea. That's the current plan. I will do a little transition from my lorry parking because that's really uninteresting and no one cares about me cleaning my towel. Oh, it's so. literally like 27. I've slowly begun packing the lorry. I need to move it forward because I am lazy and I didn't skip it out last time I used it. I've got about 20 minutes to try and pack it, then I have to get them in. I'm just not very good at this. I filled up, put the hose into the water and left it for 20 minutes. Also the outfit, mmm. We'll get them in and clip, hence why I am looking a million bucks. I'm washed and clipped pony. Not very happy, are you? No. I was going to say you're a good boy to wash, but you weren't. But now I have to sweep all of that up. Bernard, don't be so rude. Right, double check on my lists. I kind of got everything that I can put in. I'm not going to put any of my washing stuff in because if I put shampoo in, it means he'll sleep in his poo tonight. Whereas if I don't put it in, it's probably my famous last words, but you know. Put another rug on top of him because I've obviously just taken all his hair off. And then go to bed, I guess. No, probably not sleep because I'm nervous as fuck. But you know, we can try. Can we, Bernie? Good boy. It's all packed. I have both my saddles, both my girths, dresser's bridle, jumping bit. Uh, my boots, I've just boot polished them, so that's why they're laying flat on the floor. Air jacket. Body protector, show jacket, stock, stock prints in the pocket, got my dresser hat in there, cross country hat there, all my clothes, tack, cleaning stuff, boots, my everyday riding boots and just in case, another deck chair. I'm gonna go to bed, I just need to make beads and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I have fed everyone. I'm about to go sort the lorry out and Bernard's looking very excited. And I'll go plat. I'll actually throw everyone else out first at the plat. Ooh, I feel sick to say the least. I, my stomach is just churning. I just, oh, the nerves. But I just need to raven up. No need for this. I look exhausted. I am exhausted. I barely slept. I think it's because I haven't walked the course. But then again, before glams, I didn't sleep because I had walked the course and all I could think about was the jumps that I didn't like. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation. Yeah, it's absolutely freezing. Thank you, Scotland. Um, but it's supposed to go up to like 14, 15 degrees. So if it could get a move on with that, I don't have to put the others out with rugs on or not. I think I'll put rugs on and get my dad to take them off in the middle of the day if they behave. I'll go sort the lorry out and get back to you when I start plotting. Plotting. 
hack buy your got to be glued because it's stronger than any like plating gel and it's literally like four pound whereas plating gel you're probably looking at dinner it's all done but it looks very smart it's squint his plaits are absolutely huge but i can't pull his mane because i think he would actually kill me and then I just plaited his tail and put a tail bandage in. Don't travel him in travel boots because he doesn't like them and he walks a bit funny. You know, I would rather not travel him in travel boots than wear them and him like tweak a muscle from walking like an idiot. So yeah, just gonna get my grooming kit in, put this extra hay knit in and get him loaded and leave in five minutes. Cool. He's a good boy. Picked up my groom. It's a beautiful day. Number four, number five, gainer, number ten. And then they're ready for dressage. Get this little twirl. So my hat is out of date. So I'm having to borrow a friend's friend's hat for cross country, which is very stressful, but I'm trying not to be stressed about that. Then I have a big gap between dressage and show jumping, so I think I'm gonna rewalk a few combinations of the cross country because they're a bit scary and I'm scared. And I've got enough time and I've walked my show jumping at three and then show jump at 20 past four. So, wish me luck. We'll go do dressage.
but he was very good. You were kind of pulling my arms out of their sockets and just looking at the flowers, even though he's 15. Good job. And we have like, my, my times are on here. So that's why I keep checking. <laughs> my show jumping's at 10 past four. And it's currently 20 past two. So I'm gonna give him some like mash. Um, and then you'll get grass. We're gonna run up to cross country. And, or no, I'll walk the show jumping at three. Then we'll go up and have a look at the cross country again. Just to make sure I'm consolidated and where I'm going. So I'm jumping his walk, I'm using my hair now to hold back my hair because I can't see because my bangs. We're just gonna walk this combination that's like bothering me. Then head down for show jumping. Feel really nervous. Don't really want to do it. I don't I just don't even want to say it, I just feel dread. So that's always good. I feel better. Not good but better. Um so I think we should be okay. Will I be okay? Yes. Kira doesn't speak on camera apparently. Oh, is it? I'll put the video in. Bear! Gorgeous boy. To acquire a hat for cross country? Oh, I'm nervous, Kira. You're not. I'm really nervous. Nice hat. Is my hat cover gonna stay on? I'll tape it on. Ah, I'm fine. I need to eat. I feel sick. Yeah, you do. Okay. Which Gonna have a sandwich. Right, yeah. So we're show sure jumping at 20 past four. It's 10 to. I think we're gonna get on in like 10 minutes. Um, because I don't want to obviously ride him for too long. Because he's all warmed up from the dress earlier. So he doesn't really need to school. Then we'll bring him back to Lorraine and get a change and cross country. So I don't know, I don't think I'll get to do much vlogging. Unless we get a little video walking up across country. Can do. Um, because it's pretty hectic. Like I've got half an hour between going in for my show jumping and going cross country. And it's a hike up the hill. What do you need to do in between? Uh, changing, I'm gonna change boots, take boots on, put respite on, put my body protector on, my new hat. Um, yeah, that's all. Thanks for her cross country colours on her. Her jacket is not warm. <laughs>
Head up, swim. Looking good, almost there. Cross country, not so good, but I think we kind of came to the conclusion it's now raining. Um, the ground is so deep, there was like potholes coming up to jumps and it was just so sticky. I think he just really didn't like that. And that's why he was quite sticky coming into jumps and then coming out of the water, he just kind of ran out of momentum coming up to that head. And the course was quite like back and forth and there was horses going out the way um, on the right and then he ran out to the right as he ran out of momentum, so. What can you do? Nothing. Go get pizza is what you can do. I think we finished like 17th, which you know, it's not an improvement from Glam's, that's for sure. But you know, it's fine, it's fine. Show jumping is clearly his calling and we'll leave the cross country to being on hard ground. Bernard's finished in currently 32nd place. Yay. Highly impressed. It's now pouring with rain. Wow, this is an angle and a half. So, I feel so defeated by yesterday. He felt awful cross country, so backwards. And he just hated the crown. It was literally like running through sand is how I would describe it. He just absolutely hated it. He's done so much galloping, he's so fit. He's galloped in all weathers and he just he was galloping for six and a half minutes and the optimum time was like five minutes twenty or something and he just didn't take me on at all. He was excited walking up the hill, his ears pricked and he was power walking. So excited and as soon as I presented him at the first jump in the warm up, he just completely backed off. And he's really whip shy, which is why I'm really careful when I ride with a whip. Like I never do like lessons or jumping at home with a whip or whatever. I always go cross country with one because as soon as you like pick it up, he, you know, clamps his arse and he's scared. But yeah, he, like I had my whip in my hand and whacked him on the shoulder and he just didn't react at all, which is not like him. And so I thought, oh, you know, maybe it's just cause I'm a bit nervous in the warm up. And even coming out the start box, I you can see like I go to stand up in my light seat and say, come on, let's gallop. And he's like, no, I don't think I can. He comes into the first jump and he's like, he's not looking at the jump, he's looking at the ground in front of the jump. And every jump he's jumping, like stretching out and like, looking over at the other side before he lands. Because the ground was absolutely terrible. Uh, just from being, wait, I cross country at half past five. We've had tons and tons of rain and then no rain for kind of six days so I kind of I thought the ground would be dry enough but it was obviously just it was quite squishy is how I would describe it like there was massive indents and some of the like heavier horses had literally made holes in the ground um so yeah it was quite difficult and like before and after all the jumps was just so squishy muddy all cut up big holes where horses are landed and I think coming up the hill to number six he i'm not sure if he jarred his shoulder or something but like the hill went like this and then went dipped down and then straight up onto the mount and when it dipped down i don't think he saw that you can kind of see in the video but i remember feeling it he went doom from the front leg he kind cantered up the hill um because then a few jumps after that are just like a few logs and the trichaner which didn't have a ditch underneath it it was just a log raised off the ground <laughs> And then the water and that bush, that bush, that brush after the water was the first kind of big question. He didn't like that. 
And the first refusal, fair enough. I didn't have my power, the water was really deep. I went into it and like it was quite muddy and I thought, I actually can't see the bottom of this and neither can him. He was a bit hesitant going in and once he got in he was trotting in. And I was, I remember looking down and thinking, this is covering like, this is like above your fetlock, like this is quite deep water. So he couldn't canter, he had to trot through it and then coming out of the water I did a stride of canter. The brush is quite big for an 80, I'd say it was 90. Um, and he just didn't have enough momentum to get over it. I mean, if he didn't like the ground and he's got wet legs, he just went into full. And there's also horses, because the course was kind of like this. So there's horses coming this way as we were going that way. So just all of that together, he was just like, no, I'm not doing it. And then the second time he refused, it was completely my fault because I'm an idiot. And I panicked because those kind of duck outs, that's what gets me. Um, I really lose my confidence if he stops. But like the duck out ones, because like being five foot nine, um, if I'm gonna fall off, it's out shoulder because of my upper body. That's why when he takes flyers and stuff, I'm always leaning back. Um, but yeah, coming into that the second time was completely my fault. I literally put him on like a 10 meter circle with no power. So I'm coming around the corner and my right hand is up. So I'm pulling my right rein and, oh, guess what? He runs out to the right. Who would have known? Clearly not me. So then I pulled him up halted, kind of composed herself, picked up Cantor and presented him again and then he kind of leapt over it and carried on. But he's just so behind my leg, I'd worked so hard. And he came back from cross country and um, came through the finish line and we obviously stripped him like usual and walked down to the lorry. He had, I didn't have a drip of sweat on him. He's so fit. He wasn't sweaty, he, even under his saddle. like no sweat at all if anything he was eating grass for like two minutes once he got his bridle off and we put the head collar on started stripping his boots and his neck was cold i think we finished 30th basically i need to get a new hat because i have my hat this is this is too old now and i love this hat i've had it forever quite literally clearly i just need to find my competition excitement again. I've just never dreaded competing so much before. And it's getting worse every time I go out. I'm like talking myself out that I don't wanna go. If you have a dry summer, I'll event him later in the year. Thanks for watching and coming along and seeing my mess of a day. So glad I vlogged this one and not glam where I won last year, but whatever. I will see you in the next one. Fuck it. My darling, I love you. I love you.